Hi guys, I'm Mystics, only video production here at the Guitar Summit 2023 at the booth of Mod Audio with Gianfranco to introduce you the lovely uh, technology behind this. Yeah, so, uh, well, uh, we are the Mod Audio platform. Our product is the Mod Dwarf. It's a standalone plugin-based uh, pl plugin system. Yeah. And uh, the Mod Dwarf, it has a web uh, interface that works as an editor and everything that has access to the platform. The web interface is showing what's happening inside the device. So there's no processing on the computer. Everything is happening okay. inside the box. And with, here is where we assemble pedal boards. Okay. We can assemble by just connecting plugins. It's as simple as dragging, connecting, and off you go. Uh, we have total creative freedom on how we connect the plugins and also how we address the controls to the, okay. to the device. And we have all sorts of plugins. We have uh, delays, distortions, dynamics. And you use those plugins to create the boards. The platform is open to outside developers. There's a plugin store where plugins are being published at all times. So there's a okay. constant influx of new plugins of all types. There's a marketplace. So some professional developers are actually selling plugins okay, on the platform. Right. And our novelty are the Nero based uh, amplifiers and simulators. We support both the Nero Amp Modeler as the Ada X uh, ecosystem. Okay. Ada X has released three premium plugins, the Tweaker, the JCVM and the Vibro. And the mod community is also cloning many amplifiers and sharing on the forum. There are hundreds of amplifiers and pedals already there. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's kind of a resume of it. And everything runs standalone on the device. Okay. So you use the browser to create pedal boards. Yes. Once you're done, you go to the device and use everything on the device standalone. Okay. Yeah. You can okay. save as many pedal boards as you want. Oh so all these pedal boards here are inside the device. And <laughs> pedal boards can range from simple uh, guitar chains like I'm having here. Yes. To complete uh, guitar synths, for example. This is a full modular synthesizer for the guitar. We have CV plugins of all types, and uh, yeah, it's almost kind of a portable studio. Wow. And uh, this is a full modular synth for the <laughs> guitar, for example. And uh, also all sorts of applications. We have loopers, we have recorders, we have uh, um, uh, sequencers. Uh, it's fully MIDI compatible. We could have here, let me put it. <coughs> this, for example, is a pedal board that mixes. It has a... <coughs> This pedal board has a sequencer doing MIDI notes for a, just a second, it's loading, yeah. So the sequencer here is making oh. a bass, yeah. a drum, and a piano. And in parallel, you use a guitar chain nice. to play together with the, with the track. Right. Unfortunately, on this event here, we cannot play. Yeah, uh, of course. We don't, <laughs> but but uh, even if we have to wait to see the, the GUI to, to loading, here is immediate. Uh, so when you change pedal boards, uh, it doesn't take that long. It takes a, a bit here because the browser has to okay. render. Uh, the change between pedal boards, it gives a bit of silence. Okay. Uh, depends on the size of the pedal board, can get to half a second. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but you can save for any pedal board, you can save what we call snapshots. Yes, Other of companies course. call it scenes. And uh, these are the combination of parameters. Yes. And these changes are immediate. Okay. And uh, instantaneous. When, when, when you change a pedal board, it's like uh, changing, taking all your pedals out and rewiring yeah. <laughs> everything. So that takes a bit of time, even for a computer. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, yes, and we right. are really excited about uh, that's the novelty, the both NAM and uh, Ada X. Yes. These are really realistic uh, amplifier simulations. So that's what we are marketing here and right now. There is no possibility to make this kind of effects for the client. So capturing, for example, uh, pedals that client have. Uh, yeah, yeah, they can do them yourself. Both with, uh, Nero and uh, uh, also Aida, they have training systems. Oh, ah, okay. So if you have a pedal at home, you don't actually need, even need a device for that. It's, okay. it's open source, it's available, both of them are available for desktop. Okay. And if you have a pedal, you just have to play uh, yeah, so input file. Audio, audio interface. Exactly. Basically. Play an input file, record the output. Okay. Put the two together on a training system that teaches the network how it works. It generates a model. 
Okay. That's the model that we use on the loaders. Okay, If perfect. we go to our forum, oh, the internet here is out now. But in our forum, we have a, 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 a dedicated section where okay. people are sharing models. And NAM has the Tone Hunt uh, website. Okay. Thousands of models there already. Yeah, great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a, you can use it for guitar, you can use it for microphones, for bass. Uh, the way that you can connect between inputs and outputs, it's all your decision. So yep. we could have, uh, let me get another board here. So for example, this board is a very simple guitar board. And I have my uh, outputs still available here, the output two, oh, it's here, yeah. So I could make another chain between this okay. and this here. Yes. Let's say that I'm a singer songwriter. So I can make a chain for the guitar and another chain for my voice. For my microphone. OK, yeah. perfect. And uh, in parallel with that, I could have some sequencers for the MIDI as well. And uh, well, yeah. you know where it goes. <laughs> so we, we can see how the hardware works. Yeah, for sure. So the hardware, uh, the controller, it has a it's, uh, it's a pay, uh, multiple pages. Each page has nine knobs. So three plus three plus three okay. and two foot switches. And then you can have up to eight pages. Okay. And how you address the parameters, that's your strategy as a musician. Okay. So you can decide, oh, I want one for each plugin. I want to use one page. Or okay. no, I want to have the most important on the first page and auxiliary stuff on another page. Okay. It's about the, the strategy of the musician, how is his workflow. And, uh, how is, mm, so, uh, how can I assign oh, yes. the, the knobs? So, yeah, so every plugin has uh, this button here and okay. this is where we assign. So let's say uh, the EQ here, I'm going to put the bass on page four here. So now we have four pages, one, two, three, four, the bass yes. here. Okay. I'm going to put the mid as well, page four, and the treble also on page four. So now I have the bass, mid, and treble. Okay, perfect. This is a parametric equalizer, so I could get the bass frequency, the other subpage, the mid frequency also on the other subpage, and the same thing for the treble frequency. So now I have a parametric EQ, bass, yes. mid and treble, and then the frequency of the bass, the frequency for the mids, and the frequency for the treble. Great. <laughs> it, uh, again, it's all about the strategy of the musician, yeah. how he it's wants to flexible. control and what he wants to control. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, thank you so much. John You're very Marco. welcome. Thank you so much. We have the link in the description yeah. if you want to know more about mode audio and all the uh, open source ecosystem. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.